Johnny presents the new Philip Morris show, Call for Music. Call for Dinah Show. You gotta accentuate the positive, don't mess with Mr. In Between. And for America's finest cigarette. <laughs> Make no mistake. Of all leading cigarettes, Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists as definitely less irritating. No other cigarette can make that statement. And here's Dinah! I'm just wild about Harry And Harry's wild about me The heavenly blisses of his kisses Fill me with ecstasy He's sweet just like chocolate candy And just like honey from a bee Oh, I'm just wild about Harry And he's just wild about He can't do without He's just wild about me I don't want you to feel left out, Mr. Mercer. I'm really wild about Johnny, too. Well, thanks for including me in. Oh, that's okay. Say, a lot of folks want to know how we get a balance between sweet and hot on this call for music show. Why, that's easy. Each of us likes a certain kind of music. That's right, Harry. I figure it's this way. Which way is that now? I'm just wild about sweet tunes. And Harry's wild about hot. You keep on fighting. I'll stick to writing. And take anything you've got. But when I'm blowing the trumpet Sweet as honey from a high So could be I like the sweet tunes And Dinah's wild about I'm a child about She's just wild about Jive Oh, Dinah Harry's mad about it Johnny's mad about it Dinah's mad about the blues but we are wild, absolutely wild, positively wild about Johnny. Hello, everybody. Harry, Johnny, and I are calling for music again. The whole nation is calling for the old time tunes, Dana. Yep, it seems like a song hasn't got a chance these days. Unless it was written in the Coolidge administration. Well, it, it wouldn't break my heart one bit to hear this old one come back. I get along without you very well. Of course I do. Of course I do. Except when soft rains fall and drip from leaves and I recall the thrill of being sheltered in your arms of course I do of course I do but I get along without you very well I've forgotten you just like I should, of course I have, of course I have, except to hear your name, or someone's laugh that is the same, but I've forgotten you just like I should, what a guy, what a fool. Am I to think my breaking heart could kid the moon? What's in store? Should I fall once more? No, it's best that I stay. 
stick to my tune. I get along without you very well, of course I do. Of course I do. Except perhaps in spring, but I should never think of spring. For that would surely break my heart in two. For that would surely break my heart in two. In two. Look like you have something on your mind. I do, Dinah. Something mighty important. Well, for heaven's sake, tell us about it. To you who have been smoking for years, and to you who are just beginning to smoke, the words you're about to hear are more important, more authoritative than any you've ever heard about cigarettes. For these words were written by one of America's top-ranking doctors, an eminent nose and throat specialist who knows the scientific facts about smoking. Listen to what the doctor had to say. There is no doubt in my mind that Philip Morris cigarettes are much less irritating than other cigarettes. Now listen to the doctor's conclusion. We would be neglecting our patients who smoke if we did not suggest that they smoke Philip Morris. Remember, if your cigarette leaves your throat dry and parched, if it makes you cough or leaves a stale, musty taste in your mouth, these definitely are reasons for a change to Philip Morris. So join the thousands who every day are joining the millions who have already discovered that a change to Philip Morris is a change to a better cigarette, a finer cigarette, a cigarette of proved superiority. Remember, of all eating cigarettes, the superiority of Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists. No other cigarette can make that statement. keep getting asked the same question over and over again. Why, I thought they'd quit asking after you married George Montgomery. Why, poor God. Well, honey, child. That's not the question I meant at all. It seems that all the talented young people I meet want to know how to get started in show business. Well, how did you get started, Diana? Well, when I was about 12 years old back in Nashville, I got an offer to sing, professionally, mind you, at a place called The Pines. My folks said no, emphatically no. But nothing was going to stop little Dinah. No siree. I swiped my sister's best yellow dress, smeared some of her rouge and lipstick on my face, and stepped into the spotlight to sing under a blanket of blue. Just you and I beneath the stars, wrapped in the arms of sweet romance. The night is ours. Under a blanket of blue Let me be thrilled by all your charms Darling, I know my heart will... Dinah, what happened? Well, uh, that's as far as I got that night. I never finished the song. You see, I spotted my mother and father sitting in the audience. Result... One career slightly suspended. <laughs> well, how about you, Johnny? When did you make your start as a singer? Oh, I was an actor on Broadway, legitimate theater, you know. Oh, oh, oh yes, really? <laughs> definitely. Then I got to speak in lines in front of an orchestra. Folks thought it was singing, and I haven't had the heart to disillusion them. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, sing us your first song, hmm? Sure. Lazy bones, sleeping in the sun. How you expect to get your day's work done? You never get your day's work done. Sleeping in the noonday sun. When Taylor needs friends, I bet you keep praying the bugs fall off of the vine. And when you go fishing, I bet you keep wishing 
The fish don't grab at your line. You a lazy boy loafing through the day. How you expect to make a dime that way? You never make a dime that way. Well, look at you. He never heard a word I say. Oh, Johnny, that's wonderful. Say, Harry, how did you start your career as a trumpet player? As a drummer. As See, a... when I was yeah, as a drummer. When I was a little kid back in Beaumont, Texas, I sneaked into a circus tent and joined the band. You must have scared the seals half to death. A star is born in Beaumont, Texas. Master Harry James, circus drummer, age four. Our present. What do you say? Harry, tell us, what's the big news in the band business tonight? <laughs> well, Diana, the boys with the long hair have invaded yeah. our music stands. A classical composition has become one of the nation's favorites wherever pop bands play. Oh, I see. Call for music calls for Harry James' treatment of the saber dance. <laughs> Not by Mendelssohn, Dinah. This is the 1948 way of saying howdy to the buds and flowers. Oh, well, it goes the same for the birds and the bees. Say howdy for me, too. All right. A dicky bird whispered, haven't you heard? Spring is here, spring is here, spring is here. A little crow sang a happy hello, my favorite time of the year. A little frog sang a song on his lawn. Lose your blues, lose your blues, lose your blues. And you and I fell in love and replied on hearing the dicky birds new. If you have to look around to find a reason for such a wonderful thing, you can blame it on the sentimental season. Falling in love is done in the spring. A wonderful thing. The 
Bob a Link Looked at us with a wink Had a boy, had a girl, nothing's wrong When you're in love, you'll go swinging along a Singing a Dickie Bird song Bring your dears, bring your dears, bring your dears, bring your dears That's what the weatherman said A Dickie Bird whispered, haven't you heard Bring your dears, bring your dears, bring your dears A little crow sang a happy hello my favorite time of the year A little frog sang a song on his lawn The whippoorwill did a triple A trill On hearing the dicky birds new And the cuckoo sang a cuckoo to the blue jay With all the lark in the park Who responded, how'd you do and how were you, Jay? How would you like to go for a lark? After dark. The bobolink said, I think what I think. Winter's on, winter's on, winter's on. The dicky bird said, I give you my word. It ain't gonna snow anymore. Winter's on, winter's on, winter's on. That's the dicky bird song of spring. What a wonderful thing. Above the first bar of every song, an important direction is written. Sometimes it says moderato or legato. Sometimes they skip the Italian and just write sing in a happy frame of mind. But the direction that we've always liked is pianissimo, which means very softly as if we were singing it in your ears. The melody was playing pianissimo. The harmony so very sweet I can't remember the name of the song but I do remember dancing in your arms and then a voice came through pianissimo with lovely words that seemed to repeat you darling but all I recall are the words you whisper dancing in my arms pianissimo means soft and low and soft and low were your side darling now I know Tender glow with love shining in your eyes, and then we stole away the innocent and kissed good night while stars danced above. I can't remember the name of that song. Oh, it helps us fall in love. And it's a moment soft and low. And soft and low were your side. Darling, now I know that tender glow was love shining in. Above. I can't remember the name of that song, but I do recall it helped us fall in love.
I still think that's a tune Spike Jones ought to play real loud. <laughs> I think it was very lovely, Dinah. Thank you, Jack. But what I have to say can't be said pianissimo. Of course not, Jack. Say it fortissimo, loud and clear. Friends, remember the words of the eminent nose and throat specialist whose statement you heard a little while ago? We would be neglecting our patients who smoke if we did not suggest that they smoke Philip Morris. Yes, there's a difference in Philip Morris that distinguishes it from any other leading brand. And to you, that difference means a cleaner smoke, a fresher, milder smoke than you've ever known before. Remember, of all leading cigarettes, the superiority of Philip Morris, and only Philip Morris, is recognized by eminent nose and throat specialists. No other cigarette can make that statement. Mr. Show Business himself is making news this week. Hundreds of theater marquees are once more spelling out the name of Eddie Cantor. And when we see his new picture, If You Knew Susie, we think of all the wonderful songs that Eddie's made famous. Harry and Johnny and I'd like to help you remember a few of them. How about this one? Another bride. Another groom, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason for making whoopee. The choir sings, here comes the bride, another victim is by her side. He's lost his reason Cause it's the season For making whoopee Down through the countless ages You'll find it everywhere Somebody makes good wages Somebody wants her share She calls him Toodle And rolls her eyes She makes him strudel And bakes him pie What is it all for? It's so he'll fall for Megan Whoopi With all those daughters, Mr. Cantor has a few musical daughters to boot. Oh, I should say he has wonderful, wonderful daughters, like Margie. Sing about it, Johnny. All right. Hey, Margie, I'm always thinking of you, Margie. I'll tell the world I love you. Don't forget your promise to me. I have bought a home and ring and everything for Margie. You've been my inspiration, day are never blue. After all is said and done, there is only one Margie, Margie, it's you. Say, uh, we mustn't forget Mrs. Cantor. That other gal in Eddie's life. I'll bet even Eddie won't recognize Ida, all dressed up in this old red nickels arrangement.
You know, you hear a lot of gags about Eddie Cantor's five daughters. The truth of the matter is that Eddie has thousands of kids because he knows that the business he loves can only go on if the youngsters get a break. I was one of those lucky people Eddie took a chance on. So I'd like to say thank you, Eddie, dear, from coast to coast. Thank you, Mr. Show Business. Now, uh, who'd like to sing Eddie's most famous tune if you knew Susie? Uh, well, I'll take a crack at it. Oh, you're a brave boy. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 oh what a gal. How am I doing? Say, uh, maybe that'd sound better on a trumpet. How about letting me try it? Right. Uh, uh, uh. Everything, but you see, I worked with Eddie, and I must say, he does it more like this. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a girl! There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, 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 my goodness, what a chassis! Now wait a minute, wait a minute. This is my bread and butter. Why can't I sing if you knew Susie? Eddie! <laughs> Known as Susie. In the words of Shakespeare, she's a wow. Though all of you may know her too, I'd like to shout right now. If you do Susie, like I know Susie. Oh, 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 what a girl! There's not so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, 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 my goodness, what a chassis. I had a mustache as cute as a pup. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, oh, what a girl. Fresher, milder smoke. Join the millions who call for Philip Morris, America's finest cigarette. Yes, from now on. Call for Philip Morris. This is Dinah again. A large proportion of the nation's schools still face serious handicaps. A shortage of qualified teachers, overcrowded classrooms, obsolete school buildings. So join with local civic groups and school boards to improve educational conditions. So long for now from Harry James, Johnny Mercer, and myself. And thanks a lot, Eddie. Bless you. See you all next Friday. Till then. Hello, hello. Testing one, two, three, four, five. That's it, five. Pipe smokers, try Revelation Pipe Tobacco, a smooth blend of five tobaccos. Yes, relax. Take five. Take Revelation, a fine pipe tobacco. This is Jack Rourke saying be sure to listen next week to Call for Music, starring Dinah Shore, Harry James, and Johnny Mercer. It's CBS, Columbia Broadcasting System.